Well guys, you know it wouldn't be a Kagan fishing adventure without something happening. And uh, something happened, it sucks pretty bad, I'll show you. I don't think that should be like that. So yeah, that's totally broke. I'm gonna have to call a tow truck to get me to a shop so I can get that fixed. But the good thing is I made it to put the skiff in the water. So I'm gonna go fish. And when I get done fishing, I'll call a tow truck. Let's go get on the water, let's just go. Well guys, you know, that's sometimes the way the cookie crumbles. Stuff breaks, you know? It happens. Uh, should that have happened? Definitely not. But all you can do is just be thankful that it happened when I was going slow and not down the highway. I got the boat down to the water because I was already there when it broke. Um, so, you know, I'm still gonna go fish. I would really like to catch some good fish now because that happened, <laughs> but sometimes uh, it's you just have bad days. So we'll see if the fish turn around my day or if it's just gonna be one of those days. If it's one of those days, well, you know what? I got to be out on the water. It's an absolutely beautiful day. The winds are finally light and yeah, I'm still just an absolutely lucky guy. So let's go get on those fish and yeah, let's just, let's see if we can get on some fish. Let's go for it. Look at this water. Oh yeah. Well, all right, woo. <laughs> Man, that power pole, when it sticks, it sticks good. All right guys, well, I'm at the first spot. Uh, you know I'm in Sweetwater Lake. I'm not gonna try and hide it. I'm not gonna try and hide it, not one bit. A lot of bait in here. It looks like the tide's going out. You know I'm gonna start throwing a little top water. You know I gotta do it. You know I got to do it. Oh man, it's a beautiful day being out on the water. It's been a while since I've been in the solo skiff. I did that camping trip last week and I uh, had some family things I had to take care of before I could get back out and today was the day. You guys saw that that uh, wheel on the truck broke, but you know, it happens. I'm not gonna let it get me down and uh, I just gotta make up for it and fish now. So fishing's on, it's game time. Just gotta make it count. I'm pretty sure those are some reds running on that flat. I saw some big boils. See if I can cast into the wind. Oh yeah, I sure can. There we go. All right. Did I just eat my lure? Pretty sure after I just broke off, a fish just dominated that top water. Yep. Pretty sure that's exactly what just happened. All right, that just tells me how my day's gonna go. <laughs> Holy cow, man. That really, that really just happened. A fish just dominated the top water lure after I broke off. Okay. Okay. All right, well, it kind of sucks that uh, <laughs> after I broke off that top water, you got annihilated by a fish, but that does let me know that they're eating tops right now. So uh, I've got the old hunchback on. It's a pretty bright, clear day. Water clarity is decent. It's that nice kind of stained trout green, a little browner than trout green, but you know, for Galveston, it ain't too bad, especially on, especially on an outgoing tide. I'm just gonna check my uh, my cast settings right here before I throw this guy off and miss another fish. Okay, I should be good now. There we go. Let's uh, let's see if I can redeem that loss with a fish. There we go, fish on. There we go. I got a little trout. That's what I'm talking about. Ugh. Come down, little buddy. Come down, little buddy. There 
There we go. Nice little trout, probably measured like 12. Let that guy go. Cool. First fish on the hunchback in a while. All right. First fish, <laughs> first hunch on the fish, first fish on the hunchback in a long time. Uh, well, that was a good boil. I mean, there's fish here. I saw them blow up. You saw them eat that top water earlier. Well, I don't know if you could actually fully see, but the fish are eating top. So that's always a fun bite. You guys know that I just love me some top water action. I do, I do. All right, so the bite kind of, the blow ups, the bite, it all slowed down over here. So since tide's going in, I'm gonna push in too. All right, so I pulled up to the next spot. I'm at this little dam area. Uh, if you guys haven't seen it before, definitely check out this video. I'll put the card up. Uh, Tom and I came out in the solos and absolutely started smashing trout and redfish over here. And you know, I'm going to throw top water again out behind this flat. Uh, I've caught trout like that. And it was about this time in the day that I was catching them like that. So going to kind of change up some strategies, implement some different lures and just see if I can get some, get some eats happening right here. Oh, fish on. That's a nice, that's a trout, I'm pretty sure. Yep, nice trout. There we go, baby. There we go. Nice trout. Woo! Hit it right on that edge. Exactly like you should. There we go. Decent trout of the day. Measured up 15 and a half. So this guy's going in the box. Uh, I'm kind of just here for food. I'm kind of just here for food. Uh, awesome though, to have a topwater blow up right on the edge like that. I saw a blow up right before I threw that lure. And sure enough, I don't know if it was the same one, but I'm gonna get that lure back out there and see if they're running on that ledge and smacking tops. Cause that would be a very fun time to start stacking some fish. That trout blew up right on this edge. So I'm gonna keep working a top right here. Oh, there was a blow up. I missed it. Okay, they're here. That's what I'm talking about, man. That feels good. Oh, you missed it. Come on. Oh, blew the lure out of the water. Oh my gosh. Woo. Where did my line even go? All right, I got that tangle out. Dude, that was a solid trout. They're blowing up all in the middle on top. This is awesome. Topwater trout bite in the middle of the day? Dude, I feel like I always get like those topwater luck out times. I mean, they're just blowing up on it. It's nuts. Man, that, that was a good trout that came that hit it right at the boat. Oh my gosh. I would have liked to hook up on that dude. I'm gonna take one bomb cast all the way to the other side. And then I'm actually gonna go up and I'm gonna start kind of sight cast polling through all this. The water clarity looks really good over there. And I feel like I might be able to see some redfish. There's a lot of little dark hole pockets. So it's gonna be a definitely, it's gonna definitely be a challenge to see these guys. But you know, I love getting up shallow and seeing if I can find some fish. Big red right in front of me, right in front of me. Big red right in front of me. So I saw that big red fish swim right underneath the boat. I'm out of time. I've got to call the tow truck. But hey, I did catch a trout and I had quite a few other blow ups on top water today. Uh, also in the midst of breaking my truck and then just trying to let it go and go out and fish. I didn't bring any sunblock. I know you guys normally don't see 
me wear these buffs, but it's hot and that sun would have cooked my whole face today. So I wore this buff. It's pretty nice, it covers my ears too. I really like it. So just a little post video update for you guys. Uh, at that point, I knew how much work I had to do. I turned off the camera and I boogied home. Uh, luckily, I got the truck fixed that day. I had it towed back to my brother-in-law John's house and we set up a little yard garage got it done and I was back on the road that afternoon. It was a scorcher that day and I was worn out by the end of it so I didn't record any of the tow truck anything like that but the truck is all fixed up it is good to go and thanks for watching this episode of Kagan Fishing. I'll catch you next time.